What's up everybody, Jerome here back once again bringing you guys another video here on today's YouTube channel. Now it's been quite some time since I actually done a trailer analysis video regarding anything out there to be honest, but I do apologize. I only make these videos for games that I am extremely interested in, and oddly enough Persona 5 is one of them, and we got a new trailer today. And holy mother of god, the trailer is freaking beautiful. It's so beautiful. But I won't waste your time anymore. I know you guys came here for the trailer analysis video, so let's just jump right into this bitch. But first, I want to do a quick shout out to a channel named Hi, my name is Miris or Maris. I don't know how to pronounce the name, dude. I do apologize. Anyways, this guy did a full on English. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Sorry about that. This guy did a full on English translation regarding the latest Persona 5 trailer. So if you guys want to see an English translated version of this trailer, I will link it down in the description below. So the first thing we see is our characters running down a pyramid, and the pyramid is legitly collapsing upon itself. So here's what I think is going to happen. There's somewhat of a trend going on, basically. You know how in the very first Persona 5 trailer, we see them running out of a freaking building, and it's collapsing upon itself as well, like some kind of a castle of some sort, basically. So, with that in mind, I'm gonna put two and two together, basically. So, once they defeat the big bad boss in that freaking dungeon or whatever, they need to basically leave before they get killed upon the collapsing building. That's what's gonna happen. They do something, they defeat the big bad boss, they get what they needed, and then the building collapses. That's what I think is gonna happen, like, continuously. Because, come on, it doesn't just collapse by itself, or it doesn't collapse by a someone tripping on something no it has to be that it really does but another thing that came to my mind is are we actually gonna be able to travel the world or are we just set in a different world where nobody knows you know how like Persona 3 had Tartarus Persona 4 had the TV world is it something like that most likely all I can say is that we just have to wait and see for ourselves you know what I mean and you know what's funny is that based off the English translation um, the female character, I forgot her name, I do apologize, she's basically crying out to Morgana, saying to transform into a car. Now, is Morgana a shapeshifter of some sort? Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if it is a shapeshifter, considering our very first Persona 5 trailer, where we first see a black cat, and then it transitions into Morgana. So, Morgana has to be somewhat of a shapeshifter. That's pretty freaking cool. And then the best part of the trailer is when she completely chucks Morgana into the air. I, I already like this character, real talk. The next thing we get to see is the game itself, and the game looks absolutely beautiful. It's looking better and better as time flies, and I do like how it's mimicking basically Japan and how proud of Japan can be. I do really like it. It's it's just beautiful. It looks beautiful. It's like if you guys know Catherine, you guys basically know that this is very Catherine-like. You know, like the design, basically. It's it's so cool. I really do like it. I cannot wait for this game. And I know a lot of you out there cannot wait for this game as well. And yes, you guys don't need to say down in the comments that this game has been delayed to 2016. I already know that. Trust me. It sucks, but it's happening. And then we get to see more of our main character just walking around his school. And honestly, the school doesn't look that big. It really doesn't. But all I can say is that... We just gotta see for ourselves, yet again. <laughs> and yes, there's not much I can say about the school, so I won't be pointing out like any little freaking details like, Oh my god, there's something right there in the corner. So yeah, I won't be doing anything like that. Just a quick analysis video, right off the bat. And the next thing we get to see is like our main protagonist in like somewhat of a group chat or a group text message. And the female character, based off the freaking English translation, she says, So what are we gonna do today? feel like just going on the thing and the guy the blonde dude your blonde best friend basically says you bet so is this thing like the other world or something I don't know Hon honestly I would think so real talk I would think so and then more animated cutscenes and then we get to see Yukiko's castle Yukiko's castle apparently made it back more darker than ever <laughs> uh, some people cannot take a joke out there in the world but based off the English translation, this is called The Palace, a world created from rap desires. So is this like one world or is this the world where everything is going to be taking place? I do think this is just one world, to be honest. Uh, so yeah, Morgana says that. 
And next, we get to see a very somewhat dark scene of, of the game. We see our main protagonist in handcuffs, and it looks like he's been uh, kind of beaten up. Like, real talk. This is like an interrogation scene. It looks like an interrogation scene. But laying hands on a high schooler? Jesus Christ, this game is cruel! I like it. And then I think we get to see a first glimpse of our character introduction, basically, of Morgana. So, <laughs> because the dude with the blonde hair, he's freaking the hell out after seeing Morgana. And based off the English translations, he's saying, Oh my god, the cat can talk! <laughs> it looks cool. And then, for some reason, our main character is already in his... Let's kick some ass gear. <laughs> and he has the mask on already. So, it's probably like another sequence of events. You know, like Persona 3, Makoto Yuki just points the gun to his head. Persona. Freaking... Uh, you know what to call me. He gets a random ass card in his hand and then he busts it. Something among those lines is basically it's trending on to this damn game. So we don't know how the hell he gets his powers, basically. But the best thing about this is that we get to see Morgana's persona. And this is like the man one of the manliest freaking personas that I've ever seen for a spare character, basically. Like, you guys might think freaking um <laughs> Kanji's persona is manly, but this, Morgana's persona, is manly as hell! It, has, it, it even has a cape. It looks really cool, it looks really cool. And I do like how we get to see everyone's personas as the trailer goes on. And here's one thing that interests, interests me the most, is um, basically we see our main character on his phone, and then all of a sudden he sees this I square icon bullshit with the star as its pupil just randomly on his thing. So does this identify where these quote unquote worlds will take place? Maybe, I don't know. But honestly, I won't be surprised if it does. I really don't. Or I really wouldn't be surprised, sorry about that. More, and then we get to see more of Japan basically late at night and just it looks fantastic. It really does. And for some odd reason, the surrounding characters around the main character, some of them don't have faces, but I'm pretty sure that's going to be um, fixed later on. And we get to see, apparently, how traveling is going to be inside the game. You could parkour, apparently. More animated cutscenes, and then, oh, more gameplay of the freaking game. As we see our characters parkouring one in two places. And the best part is that they go Mario 64 up in this bitch. They go Blue Clues. They freaking jump into paintings. So, and then the first thing we, just, we see is that when they jump into a painting, they're in basically Egypt. So, is this... So, what? here's what I'm thinking now. The palace is a world, right? It's just a world. But within the palace, we get to see these paintings that we travel to different worlds. Basically, be similar to Mario 64, you know what I mean? So, if that's the case, that's pretty freaking cool. We get to go into Egypt, but then all of a sudden it like transitions into a different world where it's like uh, all lush and green, which looks really cool. Maybe maybe I'm wrong about that, but it does look really cool how you could just go into paintings and travel along inside the paintings. I really do like that. And then here we go. We get to see our freaking characters summoning their personas. And it says right here that the masses protects your heart. It basically protects you. It, pr of course, it protects your identity as well, but it protects you. I don't understand where that's going, but maybe it's because man, the enemies are like stealing hearts. Maybe it's something like that, but it says that the mask protects you. That's pretty interesting. Um, we get to see the female's persona, and I don't even know what the hell it is. I really don't. It's it's a woman. It's a woman. I know that for a fact, but that's all I can say about it. <laughs> that's really all I can say about it. And possibly one of my favorite personas is the freaking blonde dude's persona. It's a pirate with a cannon on its arm and two swords on its chest. It looks freaking awesome. It I, I, I really do love it. It looks... And it's on a ship. Holy shit, I just realized that. And it's on a ship. And another thing, another guy we see is is the uh, the painter guy from the whole um, what is it fudge from the confidential trailer. We get to see his persona. So is he part of your group, or or is he your enemy? We don't know. Most likely he's part of your group, but his is like your. I like his. It's I don't know how to describe it. I really don't. But it looks cool. <laughs> it looks cool. I really do like it. And of course, we get to see our main protagonist, Arsene, or Arsene. 
God damn it, I forgot how to freaking pronounce his name. But more gameplay of this, and it just looks better and better by the minute. And apparently, with this specifically, this specific screenshot, it looks like you're on some kind of moon base. Because what the freak is that on the top left? That's Earth. E A R F. Earth. So. I don't know what the hell is going on. I really don't. So, like I said, the palace has to be a place where you just go. And the paintings are the worlds where you travel into. It has to be that. But it looks really, really cool. I really do like it. And we get to see some really unique enemies. We get to see paintings that are, that are just eyeballs. Human or shadows that just turn into, like, bugs. And then we get to see this nasty little piece of crap. So this has to be a boss or a floor master. For you guys who don't know, I call it the floor masters basically. So like, for a lot of you guys are Persona 4 fans. <clears throat> I never played Persona 3, so I'm gonna give Persona 4 an example. So you guys know how you would save Yukiko, and then you would go back into her world, and you would get like a, a notification by um, Teddy, right, and saying that there's like a big bad shadow that's waiting here. That's basically what I call floor masters. So, either way, this guy looks really cool. Four arms, and apparently he plays volleyball, and he spikes the living shit out of you, and it sets off a freaking nuclear bomb. It's so cool! I really do like it. And the next scene we get to see is very interesting, to be honest. So, we see our main protagonist, and apparently money is falling all over the place. And we get to see what, who I'm assuming is the painter guy. So, is this guy an actual enemy? Maybe. But all I can say is that it looks freaking awesome. And here, the best shot, like, screenshot-wise of this game is the female character with her persona right behind her. And she's she's fire, basically. It looks freaking sick as hell. I do love this shot. Probably one of my favorite shots in this whole trailer by far. More cutscenes. And then here's the... Here's the uh, comedic part of the freaking um, trailer. And it's... You turn into mice. And... Ah, oh, bring away! <laughs> it looks adorable, so I don't know what the hell this is basically leaning towards, but this obviously is going on the factor of sneaking. Like I said, you or not like I said, um, like you know, Atlas said you could either sneak or you could confront the enemy head on. This has to be an alternative way of sneaking. It looks funny, it looks interesting, and I do like how they're running away, but um, I don't think it's gonna be that effective. <laughs> <laughs> it looks funny though, I really do like it. And of course they're running from a boulder, very very Indiana Jonas. And then the next scene we get to see our character basically training, it looks really cool. And then here on this one scene we see a Morgana on the dummy as our main pr our main character just trains. Holy shit man, this guy is built as hell, somewhat, he's toned. Um, but from this scenes, from these scenes, I do believe that these are basically buffing your character up like you go here to buff your characters up so baseball is basically like maybe accuracy and then we have the uh the karate dummy one which probably points out critical uh basically critical hits basically you know what i mean you know what? you guys know what i mean like you'll you have a higher advantage of getting critical hits that's most likely it hopefully all it, it looks cool and then here we get to see how persona 5 may be working it's basically reverting back to SMT where you probably negotiate with the freaking demons and they become your persona. And you see? Right there. Persona get It becomes a mask. It looks really cool. I really do like this. And we see more art scene. Awesome. And then there we go. We get to see the P5 logo. But then there's more. There is more. And when you guys see this for yourself, it sets like a really, really sad tone um, for some reason. And I actually really do like it. It's It just feels right. And then we get to see more animated cutscenes. And then uh, based off the English translation, um, because right here the female character is talking and she's saying, what if I lose hold of all my memories and all of my feelings? What is she talking about? I don't know, but it's it sounds cool. <laughs> and then oddly enough, we see a dead ass freaking like a, like a cop. We're like, why? Why? And then, all, and then we see like some... More animated cutscenes, more animated cutscenes, and then we see like a like a freaking SWAT unit, like a ton of them. And then our, we see our female character crying. Don't don't cry, <laughs> don't cry. So what a thing about that SWAT scene is that maybe they found basically our one of our characters' locations. Maybe 
and then they're just getting on his ass again you are a basic you basically are a menace to society and it honestly it just sets like a different tone for you the consumer because we are used to being the you know apparently the goody two-shoe kind of character but then we see our characters and it's like we're, we're juveniles delinquents like what the fuck it's so cool more animated cutscenes and then all of a sudden off based off the English translations uh, right here it says tell me who you are and of course our main protagonist walks out and then apparently the female character goes off saying we steal all that there is to you and then we see our main protagonist beaten up like he looks freaking he looks like someone roughing him up good sonny it looks freaking he looks just like what the hell I don't know what why why are they laying hands on a dude I don't know <laughs> but then all of a sudden he could give two shits because he smiles he smiles that's so cool this guy is so awesome that <laughs> he's so cool but yeah, that basically is it for this trailer analysis video. I know, I know it wasn't very informative. This is all basically speculations. And again, like I said before, I won't be going off little ass little details. Real talk. That's not me. I'm going off what I see as everyone else would see. And yeah, I cannot wait for this freaking game. It's so sad that it's being delayed till 2016, but I have patience. I will get both. I, bas I basically will have four different versions of this game. I will have two PS3 copies and two PS4 copies. Now you guys might be saying, what the hell man, why? I'm gonna be pre-ordering, uh, of course I'm gonna be pre-ordering here in the States, but I'm gonna be getting it from Japan, the great nation of Nippon. I'm gonna be getting it from there, I'm gonna be getting the PS4 version and the PS3 version, and then I will get it here in the States when it's released. Maybe it's gonna be released like at the same time globally, but who knows. All I can say is that this game looks way, way better than it was shown first, and with all the things that they just showed off right off the bat with the game itself, it, God, it's just, it just makes me wanna play it so bad. Anyways, guys. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you found this very intriguing, to say the least, please leave a thumbs up on this video. It really helps out this channel out. And if you guys have any speculations of what you guys think what is going on within this game, by far from the trailers that we were given, please say so down in the comments below. And as always, thank you guys for watching.